and flip. Ah! What the? Ah! It's a Beyond Show Master Lee. And Lulu. Her guns are real, baby. Okay. Natalie Portman arms was not CGI. It was not a stunt double. It wasn't clever camera tricks. It was real. No. That's what fans are schooling us on. And I was like, I still didn't believe it. But the more they release pictures of her, at, at times I'm like, I don't think it's the same person. Wow. It literally looks. That's probably the reason why you haven't seen her for a long time just to keep that secret that's true yeah usually they're out promoting these kind of things right, right? or sometimes they're after the celebs like Ch -ch -ch paparazzi and they'll take like i know what it feels like i'm stuck all the time but like <laughs> she's just like laid low for the long time because i think she's trying to keep it a secret she's they're, building those muscles she doesn't baby. want people to know that she's beefed up and she's in the movie and then it's like a game changer so new trailer yo i can't believe this is actually making it to the theaters it just seems like one of those ideas that hey, mind you this storyline or some amalgamation of it was from the comic books but if you were to tell me Natalie Palmer was going to come back in the movies and play Thor, I would have said, you a loco, senorita. But it happened. So kudos from Marvel for constantly shocking the shit out of me for like just making childhood dreams come true. Although I was full grown up, up by this. thinking of Natalie? I mean, yeah. Oh, I've been thinking of Natalie, baby, since I was a teen <laughs> boy. <laughs> she was a dream. I don't know what it's about her. I, think, I, I feel like every guy has something for her. It's not like she's the tallest or the sexiest or the most voluptuous. She's just cute Feminine. and beautiful at the same time. And she's smart. And she's just, yeah, you know, just... <laughs> What could have been is like kind of how it feels. Like could have been Natalie Lee. Oh wow, oh, it's pretty, Natalie Lee. That sound pretty, Natalie. All right, let's do this. By the way, if you want some cool commentary, check out my podcast. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show. That's right, love and thunder. Yeah, where's the thunder, baby? My voice. <laughs> All right, and away we go. Kids. Get to pop corner. Let me tell you the story of the space viking, Thor Odinson. Oh, but he'd be he a great storyteller. Man. He was a god. After saving planet Earth for the 500th time, Thor set off on a new journey. Well, he got in shape. He went from dead bod to god bod. <laughs> oh. And after all that, Guardies. he Gotta reclaimed look. his title as the one and only Thor. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. spoke too soon. Jane? <laughs> the old ex-girlfriend. <laughs> What's it been like? Three, four years? Eight years, seven months and six days. Give or take. Who's <laughs> counting? Um, sensing feelings. Goddamn, his arms too, baby. <laughs> Son of a... Well, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> the only ones who gods care about. Oh, the showing gore is themselves. So this is my vow. That doesn't look anything like. All oh, gods will die. I think that looks like him. I just want to say that was very, very impressive what you did back there. This is my first bad guy. That's an interesting power. You never forget your first. Wow. But for you, I'm not like the oh, other guys. No, I hope she doesn't on. die. Like, like Valkyrie does for. not die. Let's see who you are. I take off your disguise and flip. Ah! What the? Ah! Oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Eventually, grape. Oh my god! They're lucky. Okay. I hope <laughs> that in the movies they don't censor the butt. I, I don't want to see like Japanese porn where like you know they pixelize <laughs> things. Just show me his butt. That's all I want to see. Like I can appreciate when a guy has a tight ass. Right. And I want to see his ass. <laughs> I want to see because I'm 
This is the biggest I've ever seen this dude. Seriously. Like, he looks seriously insanely buff. Like, just, even from the last Thor movie, I, I just want to see his ass. Can, can a guy appreciate another guy's ass? Yes, he can. Yes. I appreciate woman's ass. I know you and do. And breasts. I know you do. Sometimes I wonder if you've gone, you know, you could have gone lesbo. But his, oh my God. That, yes. Ooh. And her too. Natalie. Mm-hmm. Damn. This just looks like fun. Gore. Did you, did you, did you, did you, can you tell who that was? No. <sighs> You're so clueless, no. man. No. Tell me, tell me. We were just literally watching Dent Poet Society. Mm-hmm. And one of the kids, kids from back then in this movie with Robin Williams was Ethan Hawke. And she couldn't piece it together because we just watched Moon Knight. I'm like, <laughs> do you not? See who that is? That's yeah. um, Marvel Moon Knight. I know. And by the end of the movie, she's like, oh, I'm not going to tell you who the bad guy here is. I'm going to Google later. Mm. Okay, then I'll give you a hint now. I am vengeance. No way. Are you serious? No, the the, the body though. So, so here's the thing, right? I don't know if that's like his body or if it's CGI, but he's known to be a kind of, method i don't even call it method acting but he's lost weight before to the point where he's like god sick like if you see some of his old movies he he can fluctuate between gaining like 100 pounds and losing 100 pounds that guy commits hard to roast like when he was playing batman it was like he got beefed up yeah so, so yeah I, I would not be surprised if he actually lost the weight lost to play, weight play, play this character yeah he honestly doesn't even look like him it's just yeah, like it's gone, like scary We're gone. So I'm have thinking a Batman in this. <laughs> oh my god, full of hotness in this one. Damn. 